I saw this going. Well, it all goes downhill from here. What's up? Let's recap. First of all, I'm sad. Hey, stay positive. I got COVID. <coughs> <coughs> then, a bunch of my friends dropped out of school and started looking for jobs. The ones that were left couldn't even afford books. Just like her. Hey, Easter, you're still alive. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, by the way, have I missed anything these past few weeks? Useful activities and discussions. The students are decreasing day by day. The school's gonna close. Really? Anyway, how's your parents? Sadly, my father lost his job. When my mother's boss decreased her salary. Yeah, that must be hard for you, guys. Um, was it because of the pandemic that led to the closure of companies? Yeah, you're right. In addition, my mom also had a COVID-19 and she experienced the worst hospital care. Oh, I had the same experience. Well, from what I see, the hospitals were understaffed and they lacked sufficient facilities. COVID-19 patients were crowded together in public wards and medical misinformation and toxic spread of PPEs were rampant. Indeed. It's a miracle that you're still alive. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead. Take care, bye-bye! So, my friend Jazz has been absent for two days because she has no devices and internet connection in her home to join our online classes. So, today I plan to help her out. Oh, there she is! What's up, Jem? Thank you for your time. So, what were the lessons we discussed this past meetings? Oh, yeah, um, so first uh, we discussed about this here. And those were the topics that we tackled during the discussion. But you were given a task. I'm gonna send those to you later the file. Um, I kinda cannot access those files. Oh, uh, why? Our internet connection is unstable. And whenever I try to use data connection, nothing still happens. We all know the quality of our consciousness. I know, right? She's ranting. And all of these are endless electricity problems in her area? She's ranting more. We students facing so many problems. I hope someone can help us to figure it out or someone can give a solution for it. Exactly, that's what I've been saying all this time, but no one ever listens to me. But you! But who? You! Wait, what? What? Listens? What? What? Are you talking to someone else? No! Someone I can feel! No! Why would he do that? Okay. Something's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? I don't... I don't know. Something feels kind of off. It's unsettling. Hope you feel better. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> I gotta use the rest of the I saw this coming. My instincts were right. I should have looked into this more. For you, since when did you feel that something wasn't right? Ever since things started to change drastically, I felt like I had the need to do something. To find ways to fix the world. Wait, how are you hearing all of this? Nobody ever listens to me or cares. Because I feel the same way. We are burdened with the responsibility of being a better generation. But our voices never hit the closer. We have the voices for the people who do not listen to what we say. But we still need to make a move for us until we reach them. And remember, we're not alone in the world. Hey, thanks for yesterday. Now, I know I can move forward with my plans because someone has the same goal as mine. No problem at all. If it's for the benefit of our society, then we should make a change, no matter how few the possibilities being here are. Yeah, speaking of which, there's this idea that I've been wanting to share, and it's been in my head these past few days. Uh, it's like a site, and it's going to be a freedom wall where people are going to voice out their needs that haven't been addressed sometimes. What do you think? Um, that's nice. We should put a better government, but we could incorporate our own platforms to serve as a public guide for the future we have projects to encourage that more we'll propose. Break from their imagination and turn their aspirations to concrete solutions. See you tomorrow. A better tomorrow.